Have you been thinking about moving to Florida? With COVID, bad weather, and all sorts of things, many people have thought this exact same thing. However, there's a very important thing to look at before you pack your bags and put your house on the market. That is the cost of living. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the cost of living so that when you move here, you'll have a better idea of where and how much your money will be spent. I know you love beaches, theme parks, snorkeling, airboats, fishing, boating, and of course, the warm weather. There is a reason Florida is one of the top vacation destinations in all of the US. At first glance, Florida seems like an affordable place to live. After all, the average cost of living in Florida is slightly lower than that of the US average, but this is simply an average. The cost of living in Florida not only depends on where in Florida you want to relocate, but where you are coming from. Further, there are different factors to consider within the general cost of living in Florida that may apply some more to some people than others. For example, items such as groceries, transportation, healthcare, and housing all should be considered. So let's get into it. One of the things you likely have thought about if you want to move to Florida is the price of housing. With me being in real estate, this is something I truly specialize in and I absolutely love speaking about. So many people think of expensive beach houses or mansions in Florida made popular by TV shows such as Miami Vice or CSI Miami. Now, we do have those here and I love those homes, but you'll be glad to know that Florida's median home cost is $237,000, while the national median is $231,000. So you'll only spend about 2% more on a home in Florida above the national median. Technically, houses are priced only slightly higher than the US average, but again, this depends on where you're moving from. If you're moving from such places such as New York or San Francisco, a home here is a deal. While such prices might discourage you from moving to Florida, you should keep in mind that prices also vary from one city to the next. For instance, the median home price in Northport, Florida is $175,000, which is 24% lower than the national average. It's 57% higher for a place in Fort Lauderdale. In Miami, you might expect to pay $454,000 for an average home, while Tampa offers similar homes for only $256,000. And in Orlando, it's slightly less with an average of $278,000. Where I live on the treasure coast of Florida here in Stewart, the median price for a home is around $450,000. For those of you who are not looking to buy a home but rent instead, even if it's just temporary, then you should also be aware of the average rental housing prices. In an expensive city such as Miami, the median apartment rental is around $2,200 per month. However, in Tampa, the average is only about $1,100. In Jacksonville, rental prices are quite similar, and Orlando's average apartment rental prices are slightly higher at $1,200. Once again, here in Stewart, Florida, the average apartment will cost you $1,500 monthly. While doing your research, remember flexibility will be your friend when it comes to comparing different towns. For example, if you're considering Stewart, Florida, but feel the prices might be a little bit high for your budget, then you can always look to nearby towns such as Palm City, Jensen Beach, or even Port St. Lucie, which would give you a similar lifestyle and convenient access to Stewart with a lower price point. In fact, many of these towns I just mentioned offer better amenities than Stewart at a more affordable price. Gotta love that. Keep in mind that financial experts recommend spending no more than 30% of your monthly income on housing costs, whether you buy or if you rent. Some rental application and loan companies will even use this as a calculation for approval or denial, so make sure you do your math. Now, on to one of my favorite topics, Food. Whether you love key lime pie, tropical fruits, ethnic cuisine, or seafood, then you may really love living in Florida with our diverse food options. The price of food and groceries often is something many people do not consider when moving to Florida. If we use 100 as a baseline of the, for the United States average to buy groceries, and anything over 100 is more expensive, then the most expensive city would be Miami, followed by Tampa, with Orlando sitting right next to the baseline. Here in the Stewart area where 
I live, it's just below Tampa. So while food and grocery prices in Florida vary from one city to another, the average cost for these necessities across the entire state is actually higher than the U.S. average by a few percentage points, and this is due mainly to our location being in the southeast portion of the United States. The price of utilities also is on the high side in Florida. According to the Energy Information Administration, Florida residents incur an average monthly electricity bill of around $126. Electricity costs in Florida are 13% higher than the national average of $112. Now, as you can imagine, electricity consumption in Florida is high since some residents have to keep their air conditioning units running year round due to the hot and humid climate that we have here. Again, keep in mind that this is just an average. Depending on the time of year, you will see big fluctuations due to the outside temperature. In the winter months, you may have a bill of only about 80 bucks, but in the peak of summer, it could be near $200, and I've even seen them around $300 or more. If you live in South Florida or the Keys, you are closer to the equator and it's much more humid there, so the air conditioner will be running more often. Many of the larger homes with more than 2,500 square feet or multi-level homes have two AC units, so that's something else to keep in consideration as well, as you will likely have have two AC units and that will be more expensive. Lastly, many people in Florida have backyard swimming pools or hot tubs. This will drive up your monthly utility bills as well and it's an important factor to keep in consideration on your budget before diving in and buying that large house with a pool. Currently, AAA says the average price of gas is $2.73 per gallon in Florida compared to the U.S. national average of $2.42. But if you're coming from a higher cost state such as California, California, then you could really save quite a bit on fuel here. Another major factor to consider is car insurance prices in Florida. When it comes to auto insurance, Florida typically is more expensive than other parts of the country. And think about it this way, all the tourists, including international visitors, a high density of the older population, and a variety of other factors mean you will probably be paying a little bit higher price to insure your vehicle here. Here's a little interesting fact that you may or may not know this, but Florida has the most toll roll of any state in the US. So it's really important to consider where you're moving to in Florida and where you'll be driving frequently because the cost of these tolls can truly add up quickly. If you have ever traveled to places such as Orlando, then you may already be familiar with toll roads. The Florida Turnpike is one of the most popular for getting north to south in the state, but there are many other regional toll roads all across Florida, such as the 528, the 417, the 408, etc. Now it's possible to avoid these toll roads. However, a lot of other people try to avoid them as well, which definitely adds to your commute time. Also, keep in mind that in Florida, some interstates also have tolls. It's true for I-75 through Alligator Alley in South Florida. Even some bridges, such as the world-famous Sunshine Skyway Bridge that goes into St. Petersburg, have tolls as well, but you do not want to miss that bridge. It is impeccable. It's amazing. It's awesome. Here on the Treasure Coast of Florida, we use the Turnpike. Many people here avoid it by using I-95, which basically runs parallel to it. So the tolls here aren't too much of a factor, but we still do have toll roads here. Now, let's talk about healthcare. Your cost of healthcare in Florida is going to vary depending on where you choose to live, the health insurance provided by your employer or yourself, as well as your personal health situation. Every person is different when it comes to healthcare, so it's difficult to come up with an accurate figure. However, if we look at the health insurance premiums for 2021 and how they differ based upon the state you reside in, we see that Florida is 15th in the US and about 7% higher than the national average. This is definitely something that I would suggest you research more thoroughly when you're weighing an option about moving here. Now, a lot of people tout about moving to Florida because there is no state and income tax. And while that's true, it's important to understand how this will affect you individually. For most Americans, not having to pay income tax in Florida isn't gonna result in that significant savings. The people who truly benefit the most out of this are those who have extremely high incomes. And this way, Florida is a tax haven for the wealthy, which is why many choose to move here or have a second or even a third home here. One of the reasons that Florida doesn't have state income tax is that the state generates a ton of money from tourism, obviously because Disney World's here. 
However, that doesn't mean that you won't be paying any taxes. In fact, while there is an overall low taxation at the state level, there's a considerable taxation at the local levels in Florida. One of the first ways you'll discover this when moving here is the cost to register your vehicles. It can be shocking if you're not prepared for the fees and taxes. And in fact, I was completely shocked when I registered my vehicles here when I moved here from Colorado years ago. While property taxes in Florida may be slightly lower than the rest of the US, gasoline taxes are about 34 cents per gallon in Florida compared to 28 cents per gallon in Georgia. The sales tax rate in Florida is currently at 7.05%, which is higher than states such as Pennsylvania, Indiana, Michigan, and Maine, but lower than states such as New York, California, Arizona, and Tennessee. The important thing to know is that while some people will tell you to move to Florida because you will save money on income tax, you should keep in mind that there are plenty of other taxes you'll be paying that could be higher than your current area. So, can you afford the cost to move here? Only you can answer that, but I hope that you will take all these factors into consideration. Florida truthfully is paradise, and when you can find the right balance of lifestyle, amenities, and cost, it is really nice. No. Really nice. In fact, I have a sign in my back patio by my pool that states, we live where you vacation, and it's so true, we truly live in paradise. As always, my name is Chris Steele, and I'm a local real estate agent out here in Stewart, Florida. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Boom.